Hello everybody. Uh, this is another video from Frank uh, repairing uh, this time we have uh, a monitor from uh, 2001 PET, Commodore PET. Uh, the board is the one you will see in another video. The one missing uh, ROM and RAMs. And this is the monitor that has uh, this defect. So let's see how to repair this one. Okay, actually I cheated a bit because uh, before even trying to plug something I know it doesn't work I just checked uh, every semiconductor checked the ESR of the electrolytics and replaced this one because it was uh, showing no capacity and very high ESR um, every semiconductor looks good on a DC test with the multimeter uh, I mean transistors, diodes and so on so it's something more complex than uh, than that I also checked uh, the soldering on the other side of the board and well it's not very good but it looks good it looks it they may made some contact so that's not something that that simple it seems okay looking at the schematics i've checked that uh, the minus 30 goes to the first grid and it's okay also the second grid uh, plus 85 is okay and there is this uh, 33 volts in the center here and it's okay but in this point i have a bad signal uh, those tracks in the schematics are not very readable but fortunately I have my working monitor so I can take uh, the correct uh, waveform on the oscilloscope and see where it's wrong on the other board okay and we have a working monitor now the geometry is not very good anyway but that's a bit tricky to adjust maybe also the deflection coils that are slightly misplaced so I don't think I would mess with them it's just uh, bright enough and so I will leave it alone what I did to repair this was uh, looking at the schematics the video amplifier is composed of three stages there are the first two stages that are common emitter amplifiers and the last stage uh, the quality of the print isn't very uh, good but the last stage if you get on the internet a good copy is uh, an emitter for lower so going with the oscilloscope on my good uh, monitor I've discovered that the signal in this point the collector of the first stage amplifier was bad so I changed the transistor and that worked what's interesting is the transistor uh, check it with the diode uh, um, position on the multimeter was giving good readings in both base to emitter and base to collector but was actually faulty so this is not a very common failure but anyway it worked so changing the transistor was the the good solution so this completes this repair Thank you for watching.